Hello, and welcome to Minecraft. Today I'm going to show anyone who wants to listen uh, the secrets to fi farming in Minecraft effectively. So one thing people very often get wrong is the radius of fertilization for water. Many people think it's a circle with a radius 3 or a square with radius 2. But it actually, it's a square of radius 3, which can make it surprisingly large farms uh, with surprisingly little water. It doesn't matter how much water you have, as long as you have one water block within 3 meters. But it's 3 meters uh, diagonally as well. This is the largest farm you can make with a single water block. And this is enough wheat to feed probably two or three people continuously playing on easy mode but you're also going to want to farm animals I'll show you that later this is only about farming plants this is the efficient uh, melon farm it's totally reproducible and it gives each melon one place to block down now one thing people often forget to do if they want a, a, the farm to look nice and have things keep going this way by this way is to block up these sides. We're going to deal with this space down the middle later. This farming type can be re reproduced and blocked like this. Each one of these is an original block. And see this, these look like they'll mess up the farm because they're they'll grow onto the sides, but they're actually pumpkin plants. And the way they work out, they'll grow this way. Or at least that's how it's working out most recently. I'm not sure if they changed it, because I think there's going to be an update soon. Now onto something people usually have a lot of trouble with when farming in Minecraft. This farming method works very well for sugarcane. It gets you a lot of sugarcane down very quickly, as you can make it and you can extend it pretty much to infinity, especially if you're on a continent, unlike this island that I'm on. Now, uh, you can pretty much triple the entire stock every 20 minutes, because in every Minecraft day, on average, a sugar cane will go twice. If you spend more time farming it, you can maybe get it up to three times. However, it, you won't do two. You uh, will spend more time than it's worth. Now, over here, we have a much more compact version of reed farming. You can farm it very quickly this way with very little space. This small area of sugar cane is equivalent to that whole strip of, of farm on the coast. The trick with this is getting the water block space right. Because uh, sugar cane is fertilized only if it is directly next to water blocks and not even diagonally adjacent. You must put water blocks in a specific pattern. This is the pattern you have to use. Think of it like making a, s a square that's been angled and then simply repeat it using this side as if it's that side so you continue moving down this way. This is where you put the water blocks. You then put the sugar cane next to it. When you're when you're harvesting this, simply run through and click. Unfortunately, you'll sometimes do that. One good way to fix that very quickly, especially if you have some dirt, extra dirt, which you will after you dig the little pits for water, is to simply block up the pits. The sugar cane will still grow even if it does not have direct eyesight of the water, just that the grass block they're on is next to it. You can also use sand for putting the sugar cane on if that's what you have more of. Now here is the tree farm. Farming trees is seems fairly simple, but one issue a lot of people have uh, I must have lost some water block somehow. What one issue a lot of people have is that um, they have trouble collecting off the top of big trees. So this network allows you to get to any of the trees very easily and simply block down from it. All the leaves will break. The, the system is, is, low en is high enough 
that normal trees can grow and if they just with time but it's still hot low enough that big trees won't grow even if you're using uh, bone meal now um, I'm going to show you how to farm netherrack and mushrooms in the nether because I feel that's more appropriate so you'll notice here we have a big uh, area of glowstone uh, with uh, not glowstone, soul, soul sand with nether wart on top you can find this growing natural just nether wart on on soul sand um, and you'll see uh, that some of these will grow under the presence of light you simply pop them off and if you weren't in creative mode they would drop some seeds and some nether wart you use the seeds to plant new ones and you use the nether wart for your potions now on to mushrooms if any of you want m more information on, on how to use these farming techniques uh, simply post a comment in the YouTube section here we go mushrooms will usually be found in any dark area on stone and basically a rule of thumb is anywhere where you would find mushrooms either brown or red simply leave them there and they'll, and more will grow um, the rules are about darkness and stuff however um, they they won't grow if there's if it's too bright and so usually what you want to do is just find a cave and plant them there if, they, if you can place them they'll grow pretty much however sometimes you'll naturally find them near lava in the nether don't plant them here it's too bright um okay there we go well that's pretty much it um, I'm going to give you some non-structural tips on how to farm in Minecraft. Uh, basically, tricks that help you when you're in survival mode. Um, when you're building this structure, you're often not going to have a good water source nearby. So it, it's best to simply create, just quickly create an infinite water supply. An infinite water supply just means you have four blocks, a bucket in one corner and a bucket in the other. It fills it up instantly. Uh, secondly, with structures like this, it can be kind of deceiving because you don't get a lot of, you don't get any watermelons for a long time, but then in a number of minutes, you'll, but then later on, you'll, you'll basically have to, if you make it four, two by two, you're basically going to be farming all the time because it'll just keep growing. Uh, but it'd be more efficient to just leave it for a while and come back and uh, just gather all the melons at once. Well, that's about it. Um, post any questions you want in your, the comment section and any particular lessons you would like to hear from next. Also, uh, go see my friend SD Silver's videos to take a look at how to uh, set up uh, Minecraft servers. It's very helpful. Uh, thank you. Bye.